Hello everyone, welcome back to Joy's Creative Finger. We are now in the middle of the Chic Boutique live event, as most of you already are. I mean, on Facebook, I've seen a number of you already done. <laughs> I don't know how you do it, but I certainly have my ways and I can't wait to have these beautiful items in the game and probably put something together. I mean, I already have a boutique that I've put out on YouTube, but I will certainly try and create a different kind of shop of some sort. Um, but we'll see. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with it, but I'm certain I will do something. <laughs> now, there have been issues with this beautiful update, and those issues are our amazing glitch system is gone. And we've lost so many ways of doing so many great things in the game. But not to worry, there is one glitch that's still working. I'm going to direct you to the solution, and it'll help you through the course of this event so that we could possibly get to the finish line. One of the things that I do is spin my social point free seed. I save them up and then I spin away and I was able to get 790 constructor coins. That being said, I need 890. You all need 890 constructor coins to complete this entire event. So I stopped at 790 because I do know that as you complete the different levels and win different items, you get constructor coins along the way. So I have no waste and I've worked it out that I will hit that target. So my Sims are busy working hard and doing what they need to do. And I'll also explain how I still have a good number of Sims in my town, still able to have pregnancy running um, and so on. So I'll explain that in this video. But first, the one thing that is so sad is that we cannot build floating rooms anymore. And I did mention it when I built this particular Barbie house, that you have to go on and quickly build these things in your game so that you can have them, hang on to them and enjoy them in your town. Because I did know that at some point it would be removed. And these were some of the wonderful builds that I was able to put together using that ability with the mezzanine update. But now you can no longer do that. And not only can you no longer <laughs> build floating rooms, you can't do so many of the glitches that we did in the past. I mean, one of my favorite glitches was getting hedges together to, you know, be seamlessly attached to one another as you would see in real life. So you would tug up and down, down and up, and then click the right hand corner of your screen. There's a circle arrow and it'll pop back red. And then you could go ahead and do whatever it is you need to do, but that doesn't work anymore as you can see here. I thought that was so sad and I've seen so many comments everywhere going on about these glitches. Another thing we were able to do was put doors um, at an angle. Then what you had to do was stick uh, a rug, either a four by four square or four by four circle in the middle. And if you tug the room from either of the corners, well, <laughs> not really. If you tug the room from one of the angles that have the door, one door would flash red. And what you needed to do was then take the rug out and then attach another door to it and then you could use that to create bay windows and create closet spaces that have doors in front of them so that the sims can actually access it you can't do that anymore as you can see here in this video it will flash red as you can see but you're wasting your time you can't really do anything with that so that's gone i'm afraid <laughs> now you might realize that in the last couple of videos that i've done there were no glitches to the builds uh, the glam cabin and the beautiful um, maternity VIP maternity ward I knew that this was going to happen so I just wanted to get back to building the way I normally would so that you can see that you can create beautiful things without having any issues whatsoever now there is one glitch that's still working in the game and I won't take credit for it and I won't even go through the steps but it has to do with restocking your workstations. So go straight over to Karen Job. It's a channel on YouTube and it's her very latest video right now. She deserves all the credit and the viewing traffic should really go to her channel. I have 21 Sims in this, actually there are 22, one of the Sims are not at home. I have 21 Sims in this particular house and what I did was delete the rest of the other Sims around town. I still have Sims around town, Barbie, the doctor and so on. <laughs> and what I do is 
I still able to relocate the household okay to another house as you can see here can't do that now because they're all busy working on this event but you can see that I still have them as a group but they are within the limit of the number of sims I need in my town uh, in order to keep the pregnancy process going so I can always move them around what you can do is just have 10 sims in a house busy doing something and then relocate the 21 or 22 sims to that property and you'll end up with 30 and that's how i create those videos a lot of you have asked and so i thought i'd point that out and as you can see i still have pregnant sims currently in the game and i'm still able to have many sims on one plot and as far as glitching goes don't worry about it i mean there's always going to be beautiful ways to create beautiful buildings and stories but do realize that sims free play are giving us what we want slowly but surely uh, we now have mezzanines we now have mannequins remember when I built a mall and put live mannequins in there so it will return to the game in a more functional uh, way I do believe some of the things we want will return in the way that we want them and the way that they should work and we also can get the walls up could you believe that we also wanted that so many years ago but I'm wishing you the best of luck with this event chin up get working hard and I'll see you again soon bye